This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news of the business of podcasting. Brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Tuesday, October 31st. And I wish you could see me. I'm dressed up as a podcaster. First in marketing brew, Gen Zers can recognize brands based solely on sonic memes. A new report from sonic branding agency AMP finds members of Gen Z are able to identify brands based on sound alone. 75 members of Gen Z were gathered to listen to a handful of sounds associated with brands and identify them, including branded sounds often used in TikTok memes like the iconic Windows XP startup sound and Burger King's Whopper Whopper song. 84% of respondents recognized the viral sounds, while 54% were able to identify the company without a list of options. 25% were able to do the same with branded sounds that hadn't achieved virality. If a company's sonic branding is strong enough, audiences might just do the marketing work for them by immortalizing it as a meme. From Bumper, are my podcast downloads declining because of iOS 17? And this is from friend of the podcast, Dan Meisner at Bumper. Recent changes to auto-download behavior in Apple Podcasts with the iOS 17 update, which of course Sounds Profitable talked about in a joint statement a couple of weeks ago, means fewer downloads for some. Meisner lists three interconnected questions to ask and details how to answer them. Are my podcast downloads declining in Apple Podcasts? Is the size of my audience declining? Not the same thing. And how many downloads does my average Apple podcast listener generate? With these three answered, a podcaster can gain a broader view of their Apple audience. Fewer downloads as more adopt iOS 17 does not necessarily mean the audience is shrinking. As Meisner says, downloads aren't people. Eric Newsom's newsletter, The Audio Insurgent Today, writes about the smartest decision Spotify has made in years. Recently, Spotify revamped their audiobook offerings to include 15 hours of audiobook listen time with the standard Spotify premium subscription. Newsom argues that this is a shot in the arm both for audiobooks as an industry and for Spotify. According to words rated data on listener habits, the average audiobook consumer listens to eight audiobooks a year, while the diehard existing audiobook fans will find 15 hours a month constraining. New and light users now have the ability to casually listen without the constraints of pre-buying the book with cash or a credit-based system. A potential Kindle unlimitedification, that's a new word, of audiobooks has the potential to bring more people to the medium and to drive innovation. Rain News reports for all its gains, podcasting is still in early catch-up. Last week, the IAB released the mid-cycle supplement to their annual podcast advertising revenue report. And as we covered last week, this iteration of the report finds programmatic podcast advertising is growing, but at a slower rate than the wide digital market. Show-specific buying remains the top form of buying, unlike other mediums that prefer audience-based buying. Video podcasting is still less than 10% of overall revenue, which leads to three takeaways from the IAB. Scale programmatic, pivot to audience buying, and expand to video. And for the rest of the news, Digiday covers why Cirque du Soleil is leaning into influencer marketing, including a branded podcast from Jar Audio. A new forecast predicts TV ad viewership could fall 24% by 2027. And the New York Times' Joy Robbins appears on the Digiday podcast to discuss ad business, including the NYT returning to programmatic now that the industry has matured and given the company renewed confidence in the tools. Finally, today's data snapshot. Today we cover nearly 3 in 10 kids ages 6 to 12 listen to a podcast in the last month. And this is from uh, the report from Edison Research that came out a while back, the Kids Podcast Listener Report, sponsored by Wondery, Disney Podcasts, American Public Media, Tumble Media, and Kids Listen. What it means Kids podcasting has a tremendous upside. 42% of Americans 12 plus are monthly listeners, which is quite a bit more than the 29% who are monthly listeners amongst kids 6 to 12. So parents, catch up. Or get your kids to catch up, I should say. And why it's cool, 
Well, it's notoriously difficult to do quality kids research, especially with kids themselves. So this is important data to benchmark, and this is a, a credible survey to do so. Anyway, happy Halloween. Be sure to check out the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, Gavin Gaddis, and me. This episode is hosted on Art19. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Tom Webster. Download us again tomorrow.